If you've been frustrated with the limitations of the Squarespace map block feature and yet find Google's own map builder quite unsightly and lacking the finesse that Squarespace has to offer for the maps, then this is 100% the video for you. Today, I'm going to show you what the advanced map plugin via Square websites is, and we're going to have a look at what it does. We're also going to look at some of the limitations within Squarespace. And finally, I'm going to show you a demo of how this advanced map works on another website. And in the next video I create, we'll be going through the installation process. This tool works seamlessly alongside events or blog posts, meaning that we can combine it with the advanced filter plugin also by Square websites. So it allows us to drill down and show and hide different map pointers depending on search criteria. They haven't called this advanced for nothing. So let's go to our contact page on this dummy website and put a standard Squarespace map in. You may not have used this before, or you may have been through this a thousand times before, but I think it's good to recap over what the limitations are and how we can work around them with this plugin. Whilst I'm creating this page, I'm going to add a blank section. One thing to note is that this is a paid plugin, so it isn't available for free. And if we go across to the store page, we can see it's at $40. I've got an affiliate link that you can follow that will give us a tiny bit of a kickback, which is always nice. So let's add this block. And if I go down to map, we can see the standard Squarespace map blocks, which haven't really changed in five, six, maybe more years. But I don't necessarily think that's a bad thing. So I'm going to remove the fill screen just to show how we can make it look nice and bespoke on our page. Let's bring it across to here. And then we could put something like a contact us or find us. And then we can put the address below. Okay, so nothing revolutionary there. We've got a map to the right. We've got our contact details to the left. Usually I would save it at this point, then jump out, jump back in and continue editing. It's always good to save regularly when we're using web apps. So I'm going to double click on this map and it will open up this two tabbed pop-up window here. Let's put our address in place and we can see our location. The default map terrain will change, obviously, depending on whether it's urban or rural areas. So it will look quite different for you. Also, the blue option is quite nice. It will show any water because we're in mid Wales, pretty landlocked. We're not seeing much water here. So no lakes, no coast. This is where we could use the controls and maybe we can zoom out and show the wonderful pig's head shape of Wales. And let's go with that. We can add additional information like terrain in there to show just how mountainous it is. I went up Snowdon in uh, North Wales the other day and I'm just about surviving now. And we can just see how mountainous and much of a nuisance that is to walk up. But it was fun. Anyway, back to the details. So that's pretty much the map in a nutshell. We could go to dark mode and choose the dark layout, which is quite in keeping with the overall look and feel of this site. Looks nice, but what if we had two locations? What if we wanted to have some pop-up information or slide out draw when we click on the pointer to tell us more about that particular location? Although the Squarespace map looks beautiful, it's not overly functional and it hasn't changed as it should have over the past five to 10 years. This created a wonderful opportunity for Square websites to create their plugin. And if you just go to the website, go to Squarespace plugins and then find the advanced map block Squarespace plugin, or better still use my affiliate link, please. And you can see loads of information on this page, along with some examples of how it works. It's all pretty intuitive and relatively easy to follow. This is an advanced plugin, but at the same time, there's a lot of information here that will help you construct it without needing to be an expert developer. However, I will be creating more tutorials and we will be going in a deep dive showing how this works and how we can get the most from this plugin. And I'm really excited about this because I can add my own experience as a designer. I can look at the best UX experience, keeping the pointers and every little detail on brand, and then add the information and all of the custom code to create advanced looking maps. If we look at this option here, we can see one that is both working and looks really nice as well. The only thing I would change here, I would have the zoom option, the controls on the right hand side here, so we could zoom in easily especially where we've got these pointers closely together. Because to zoom in, we have to pinch with a trackpad. I imagine that will work on a scroll on a mouse, but I don't tend to use a mouse anymore. I work straight off the trackpad on my MacBook. And then if we click on each of these points, we can see a title here. 
But there's also demos where we can have the thumbnail image in the pop-up instead of having it on the left-hand side. And when that pull-out drawer open, we can see all of the areas on the left-hand side here. We can change the colors, we can change the look of that section, or we've got the little cross option to close it. And then we can do the same with other pointers. But the one thing to notice is this is all built on one of these Squarespace overlays, meaning that it looks really smart. It's in keeping with the Squarespace site and it gives us an awful lot more control and flexibility with it as well. Wait, there's more. If I choose lots only, maybe condos, if we remove that filter and look at condos only, not only does it select these, it actually zooms in to expand the page to fit. This is a beautiful addition. It does require another Square Websites plugin. And if we go across to here, it's the universal filter. So if you want the very best results, you are essentially paying for two plugins. One is for the advanced map block and also for the universal filter as well. But combined, they really take Squarespace into a bespoke new world. You cannot build anything like this in Squarespace directly without being an expert developer and having a lot of time in your hands. So pound for pound, the combination of these two plugins, if of course you need this, becomes incredible value. So let's have a look at the search option. And I'm going to type in CASA and we can see all the options. I'm just putting in half a word. I like to test the search for that to make sure we don't have to complete the word. And it zoomed right in now on one location. The more I use these plugins, the more I really like them. This combines two powerhouse plugins to create a unique bespoke effect. And I've actually turned down one, maybe even two websites in the past because we could not recreate this feature well enough because we wanted to create a directory with an integrated map. And we ended up having to turn down the project, which would have been worth six or seven thousand pounds to us, eight or nine thousand dollars. That's chafes with me. But if I'd have known, I could have just spent $130, $140 to get a working prototype and set it up within less than an hour. Ah, that would have made that job so much easier. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Next up, we're going to actually start working with the map plugin. And I'm going to create a series of tutorials around this tool, increasing in complexity each time. Of course, in the final tutorials for this tool, we'll also be adding in the filter plugin to show how the two knit together to create a beautiful end result similar to this. But we'll pick something quite different in terms of how it looks and also the content matter as well. Hope you've enjoyed. I'll catch you next time. Cheers.